The More You Give by Mary Marcy Campbell and Francesca Santa. Once there was a wide open field and a boy who loved his grandmother, who loved him back, and they were happy. The grandmother gave the boy many gifts, like big hugs and bigger laughter and the very biggest Sunday morning pancakes. But she had more to give, small gifts like acorns, tiny and shiny with wild and woolly caps. Most of the gifts she gave to the boy were ones that he could not hold in his hands, like all of her wisdom and about how things grow. The boy watched and wondered until one day, oh. When will it be bigger than me? He asked as he dreamed of swings and secret spaces. In reply, his grandmother gave him another gift, patience. The boy had a birthday and the tree reached his knees. The boy had a birthday and the tree reached his shoulders. The boy's grandmother had a birthday and he gave her many gifts like a poem, a picture, a crown, and most of all his love. And she loved him back and they were happy. Until one day, oh, slowly, slowly happiness spread its roots again. The boy's grandmother had taught him to ask for help when he needed it. And so, remembering he did, he watered and weeded while he watched and wandered. He grew tall with wandering, still dreaming of swings and secret spaces, but not for himself. Once there was a not so wide open field and a girl who loved her father, who loved her back, and they were happy. The father gave the girl many gifts and piggyback rides and plump strawberries and bedtime stories about his grandmother. He also gave the girl acorns, tiny shiny things with wild and woolly caps. But he had more to give, like all of his wisdom about how things grow. When will it get bigger than me? The girl asked, and he explained how love even when given to the smallest of things, can spread up and out and grow bigger than she could ever imagine. Together they watered and weeded, and in time they found shade, a home, and strong thick branches that were perfect for, oh, the they watched and waited and wandered. The girl grew and the trees grew and their love grew and spread up and out while the girl dreamed of secret spaces, but not for herself. Once there was a field dotted with trees and a boy who loved his mother, who loved him back and they were happy. The boy's mother gave him pancakes made from her great-grandmother's recipe, topped with strawberries from her father's patch, and hugs and laughter, and piggyback rides, and bedtime stories about their family, and its love of green growing things. The boy's mother gave him acorns, and together they planted and watered and weeded 
and watched and wondered. From their secret space, which wasn't very secret, the boy and his mother started their wisdom with anyone and everyone about how things grow, like trees and people and kindness. The boy always had more love to give, and he got love in return. Was it bigger than him? It was. It was much bigger than he had ever imagined. And that is why he was happy. Once there was a forest. The end.